I'm Alexandra, home editor at Chatelaine. Welcome to a new episode of The Home Crimp where I make over spaces on a budget. I am really excited about this print. We're in my friend Saudia's apartment, she's just moved in, and I'm going to update what is supposed to be her mudroom. But this is kind of a weird space because it backs off into her backyard and also her bedroom. Now, Saudia does a lot of writing, she's a journalist, so I thought this space would be way more useful as a home office. So I'm here to print it for less than $200. Check it out. <laughs> Saudia has this great desk in this space, but that's it. The first thing I'm going to do is hang this gorgeous pendant light. It's a little pricey, but its size and the bamboo material it's made out of is really going to warm up the space, so the splurge is worth it to me. Saudia already had this rug, and I'm placing it here for a hit of cozy. Now I'm going to tackle this empty wall. Saudia had this blue dresser that needed a serious makeover, and I thought it would make an awesome place to keep paper, files, and stationery out of sight. Here I am painting it in our studio using Annie Sloan's chalk paint in old white. This kind of paint is great because you don't need a primer and it covers just about any surface and color, including this really bright blue. And here it is in the space. I wanted to add a pop of color to this room without going too overboard. Enter these fantastic pom-pom knobs, which I wish were mine. They add texture and look super cute. Using Mod Podge, I've lined the doors with beautiful wrapping paper because all stationery deserves a really pretty home. I'm slipping this utensil organizer into the top drawer so pens, batteries, and other stationery look like an organized dream. Everyone has these inserts to keep their sock drawer organized, right? Use them in a home office drawer to sort important documents and notebooks. I'm finishing off this wall with this great glasses print from Minted. I found this great photo holder that I'm hanging above Saudia's desk so she can post reminders and photos. What I love about this is that it has hooks on the bottom to hang things like scissors and washi tape. To finish this wall off, I'm hanging leftover paper from the drawers in two frames Sadia had kicking around. Sadia had this acrylic box typically used to organize beauty products, but it's going to store all of her chargers. I'm using this retro style label maker from Amazon so Sadia knows what goes where. I'm keeping the cords bundled up with a butterfly clip. To keep cords from slipping behind her desk, I'm taking a cork coaster and gluing pom-poms around the edge. The cords are held between the pom-poms and it doubles as a coaster. So genius. I love to use cups as pen holders because they're typically prettier than something you'd find in an office supply store. And the final addition that's really going to give this space a cozy feel, this beauty of a velvet chair from Sadia's living room that's adding major hookah to the room. Now for the finishing touches. And there you have it, a mudroom turned home office, all for under $200. Thanks so much for watching The Home Primp. For more budget family updates, click here and subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking here. See you next time.